Hello and welcome back to Karlova Design Channel and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make this simple tote bag that doesn't look so simple but it's really easy to make and uh, it's uh, suitable for a beginner the making of this bag took me about half a day and uh, the pattern is in the description also i recommend you to go to my website karlovadesign.com and checking out all the original patterns that I've got there. They're from uh, free patterns, simple stuff uh, to a really complex project. The pattern includes uh, A4 US letter um, 24 inches wide format and also an SVG file. The pattern is designed for 5mm stitching irons and you will also need a punch to punch the holes for the rivets and the button stud. This project is suitable for almost any type of leather except uh, anything uh, extreme. The bottom is made out of 2mm uh, pull-up which is uh, chrome tanned. The pocket is made out of 1.2 mm crazy horse and the body is made out of 1.8 a chrome tan which is kind of medium hand it's uh, pretty soft and it's still okay as i mentioned you can use pretty much any leather for this bag this is the leather for the handles, which is about three millimeters. Of course, we do need some body in our handle, so we are taking something that is relatively thick. This is a medium-sized bag, however, you can make it bigger or smaller uh, if you print it on a um, larger paper format. 20% uh, bigger, you can use 6mm stitching irons or you can make it 20% smaller and use 4mm stitching irons. For the pocket closure, I'm going to use an oblong punch, uh, setting it uh, above and below that uh, little round hole that I have on the pattern. You can probably use any type of closure you want. I just made it this way to make sure it has space, uh, like if the pocket is uh, uh, a little bit full, it might need a little bit more space to be able to close it. A 
Let's stitch the pocket to the front uh, part of the body. It's all straightforward, so I don't have much to say here. Just stitch it on. And this is a um, seven millimeter button stud or Sam Brown stud is the other name for this type of closure. And I'm just gonna screw it on and we are done with this part. Now I'm going to stitch one side of the bag. Let's stitch the bottom on. Uh, there is one hole on each side that is central. You can't go wrong finding it. So start with that hole and stitch the bag all around the bottom.
And the last bit of stitching in this project, just uh, stitch uh, the second side up and we're done stitching. Let's make the straps. I used my strap cutter to uh, make two long straps that are one inch wide. Now I'm going to cut them to size and I'll make the holes in them and then attach them to the bag. I'm going to use copper rivets to attach my handles because this is my favorite kind of rivets and uh, basically you can use any type of rivets you want, tubular rivets will do, uh, that's uh, totally up to you. Okay, let's make some noise. And this is my custom made stainless steel tool for shaping the rivets. If you are curious, I have another video on my channel about tools where I talk a little bit more about it.
And now I'm gonna need uh, four more rivets for the other side. And we are done. As a reminder, you can find uh, the link to this pattern in the description of this video. Also, like, share, comment and subscribe. And don't forget that you can get this pattern for a special discounted price for the first three days after release. As well as every weekend I have special prices on selected patterns and if you don't want to miss those you might want to join my mailing list so you will get notified every time I run a sale. So I'll see you in the next one.